Welcome back to the path of maximum cattle profitability. If you missed our first video, where we thoroughly analyzed the Angus, Hereford, and Cemental, you can find the direct link in the description. But today, we are raising the stakes. In this second chapter of our series, we'll dive deep into muscle. The Chauvelet, the king of carcass yield. The Limousin, the source of the leanest and most efficient beef. And the Brangus, the cross that brings quality to warm climates. These three breeds are vital for any successful crossbreeding program. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you're looking for the maximum return per pound of beef. Let's start with the white giant, the Charolais. 1. Charolais, origin France. The Charolais, originating from the Charol region of France, is the epitome of high-performance beef cattle. Its most distinctive and valued characteristic is its exceptional muscle development, with a robust and heavy body conformation. The Charolais produces extremely heavy and lean carcasses, boasting one of the highest dressing percentages, carcass yield, of all beef breeds, consistently ranging between 60% and 65%. This efficiency translates directly to higher earnings for the finisher, as there is more sellable product per harvested animal. The Charolais breed is known for its rapid and explosive growth. Charolais calves and steers exhibit some of the highest gain per day GPD rates in the industry, allowing them to reach commercial slaughter weight at an early age. This rapid growth reduces the time required for finishing, improving lot turnover and the efficient use of feedlot facilities. The large size of mature bulls, which can reach weights between 2,400 and 2,650 pounds, underscores their development potential. Chirole beef is notable for its leanness, making it a popular choice for consumers seeking low-fat meat with excellent protein yield. While its marbling is not as pronounced as that of the Angus or Hereford, the beef is of superior quality with fine muscle fibers that give it excellent tenderness. In crossbreeding systems, its ability to increase the size of the loin and round is key to improving the proportion of high-value cuts. Traditionally, the large size and muscling of Charolais calves were associated with a higher incidence of dystocia, calving difficulty, especially in first-calf heifers. However, modern genetic selection has significantly mitigated this issue. Today, Chirolet bulls are rigorously screened for their expected progeny difference, EPD for calving ease, with specific genetic lines designated for use on heifers and cows, producing calves with more moderate birth weights, typically between 90 to 100 pounds but with lower risk of dystocia. To ensure safe calving, it is crucial that ranchers use Chirolet bulls with low birth weight EPD values when crossing with smaller cows or heifers. Conversely, Charolais cows, which have a large pelvic capacity and a strong maternal instinct, are built to handle large calves. The key to the breed's profitability is managing the cross, selecting bulls with high growth EPD and low birth weight EPD. Despite being born slightly heavier than other breeds, Charolais calves are extremely vigorous and are quick to stand and nurse. Charolais cows are protective mothers and demonstrate excellent maternal ability, ensuring calves receive the colostrum and attention needed for fast initial growth. Their good milk production complements the calves' rapid growth genetics. The Charolais is the king of terminal crosses, where the goal is to produce a final generation of animals for harvest. When crossed with females from maternal breeds, like Angus or Hereford, the Charolais bull provides a growth punch and superior muscling to the progeny. This results in steers with a much higher slaughter weight and a higher dressing percentage than pure maternal breeds. Commercial ranchers use the Charolais strategically to increase both weaning weight and final steer weight. The progeny resulting from Charolais with Angus, for example, retains good marbling from the Angus but adds the weight and muscle structure of the Charolais, satisfying the demand for large carcasses in the market. This hybrid vigor translates into greater income per pound of meat sold. Due to its rapid growth, the Charolais adapts very well to feeding systems where weight gain is prioritized. Its use in crosses allows steers to finish efficiently, both in well-managed grazing systems and intensive feedlots. Its efficiency in converting feed into muscle keeps it in high demand as a genetic improver worldwide. Charolais females have solid fertility and are expected to maintain a one calf per year cycle with a desirable intercalving interval IEP, of about 12 months. They reach sexual maturity at an age comparable to other continental breeds. Modern selection programs have placed great emphasis on the scrotal circumference of bulls, which is a direct indicator of the fertility of their progeny. Charolais cows have good productive longevity, remaining in the breeding herd for many years. This is essential for the ranch economy, as it reduces the heifer replacement rate. Their ability to maintain good body condition, even while nursing large calves, makes them durable and reliable mothers. To maximize Charolais reproductive efficiency, ranchers focus on ensuring heifers reach adequate weight and body condition before their first breeding, ensuring that their great growth potential does not compromise their first calving. 
Selecting genetic lines with consistently short IEP is a key tool for ensuring the breed's high productivity is maintained over time. The Charolais has a very competitive feed conversion ratio FCR, making it highly efficient in the finishing stage, especially due to its high GPD. The breed converts protein into muscle with great efficacy, which is its main economic appeal. Its large muscle size requires precise nutritional management, but its ability to gain weight quickly offsets the feed investment. Despite its robust appearance, the Charolais is surprisingly hardy and adapts well to a variety of climates, although it thrives best in temperate environments and high-quality pastures. Its light coat color helps it reflect solar radiation in sunny climates, making it suitable for grazing production in many regions. The Charolais benefits from good overall health and resistance to many common cattle diseases. However, in environments with extreme weather conditions or high parasitic loads, Charolais is best managed in a cross with more resilient breeds, like the Brahmin, to avoid losses in productive efficiency and ensure optimal health. 2. Limousin, Origin France The Limousin breed, originating from the Limousin region of France, is renowned for producing the leanest beef among the main European beef breeds. Its meat is known for its bright red color and the delicate texture of its muscle fibers. This quality positions it as the preferred choice in health-conscious consumer markets, as it offers a nutritional profile with low superficial fat and low intramuscular fat, without sacrificing tenderness when managed correctly. Despite its low fat content, Limousin beef is consistently tender. This is due, in part, to natural and assisted genetic selection. Some Limousin lineages carry variants of the myostatin gene, which promotes muscle hypertrophy and fine fiber delicacy. This combination of leanness and tenderness is a unique and powerful selling point, dispelling the myth that lean meat must be tough. It is a high-quality option for roasts and grilled cuts. The excellence of the Limousin lies not only in the intrinsic quality of its meat, but also in its distribution. The breed produces an exceptionally high proportion of high-value lean primal cuts, particularly in the loin and round area. Its body conformation is oriented toward maximizing edible muscle, resulting in a superior economic return per animal, highly sought after by packers and retailers. The Limousin is recognized for its outstanding feed conversion ratio FCR efficiency, meaning it uses consumed feed very effectively for live weight gain and, crucially, muscle deposition. This efficiency is a key economic factor as it reduces the cost of feed per pound of meat produced. The breed benefits from its ability to maintain optimal condition without requiring excessive volumes of supplements. The breed exhibits a very efficient growth rate, with steers quickly reaching slaughter weight. Mature bulls are large animals, reaching between 2,400 and 2,750 pounds. Its dressing percentage is one of the highest in the industry, ranging between 60% and 63% due to its lean carcass and fine bones. This combination of high feed efficiency and excellent carcass yield maximizes the return on investment in finishing systems. The Limousin adapts well to diverse systems, from extensive grazing to intensive feedlot finishing. Ranchers value that its conversion efficiency remains high even in the final feeding stage, ensuring that the investment in feed directly translates into high-value muscle. The Limousin breed has significantly improved its calving ease rating through rigorous genetic selection. Despite having great muscle potential, the breed's bulls are often used on first calf heifers because their calves are born with light, fine bone structures, minimizing the risk of dystocia. Calf birth weight is moderate, typically between 80 and 95 pounds. Limousin cows are competent and attentive mothers with a strong maternal instinct. Their milk production is adequate and balanced. It is not excessive like in dairy breeds, but it is sufficient to ensure rapid growth of their calves until weaning. This efficient milk production, coupled with the calf's growth genetics, results in high weaning weights, around 620 to 700 pounds, that maximize the profitability of the cow herd. Limousine females reach sexual maturity at an early age and are characterized by their productive longevity. They have high fertility and the ability to maintain an inter-calving interval, IEP, close to 12 months. Their hardiness and reproductive efficiency ensure that cows remain in constant production for many years, contributing to the economic stability of the ranch. The Limousin is distinguished by its extremely heavy muscle conformation, especially in the round and a fine bone structure. This characteristic is desirable because it maximizes the proportion of edible muscle relative to bone. Its coat is usually fawn, golden, or red, which provides some protection against heat by reflecting sunlight. Despite its European origin, the Limousin has proven to be a remarkably hardy breed and adaptable to diverse climates. It can thrive on rugged pastures and poorer terrain. Its ability to maintain body condition on different forage qualities is valued by ranchers operating in extensive grazing systems. 
In regions with high heat stress and parasitism, tropical and subtropical, the limaza is used in crosses with zebu breeds, such as the Brahmin. These crosses aim to maintain the high meat quality and muscle efficiency of the limousine, while adding the parasite resistance and heat tolerance of the Brahmin. 3. Brangus Breed – Origin United States The Brangus breed is a synthetic or hybrid breed conceived in the United States in the early 20th century with the goal of combining the best qualities of two fundamental breeds, the Angus, Bos taurus, and the Brahmin, Bos indicus. The goal was to create an animal that retained the meat quality and fertility of the Angus, while acquiring the hardiness, heat tolerance, and parasite resistance of the Brahmin. The ideal and stabilized genetic composition for the Brangus is 5 8 Angus, 62.5%, and 3 8 Brahmin, 37.5%, a proportion achieved through several generations of selective crossing. The 5 8 Angus and 3 8 Brahmin proportion is critical because it allows for maximum hybrid vigor, heterosis, and ensures that the cattle can thrive in tropical and subtropical climates with high humidity and temperatures. The 5 8 Angus ensures the dark pigmentation, the pole gene, naturally hornless, and the production of good quality meat with marbling. The 3 8 Brahmin is sufficient for the animal to develop efficient sweat glands, loose skin, short hair, and tick resistance, essential for survival in hostile environments. The Brangus breed comes in two color varieties, both with the same genetic proportion, the Black Brangus and the Red Brangus, Red Angus with Brahmin. The black color is the most common and is valued for its pigmentation, which reduces the risk of sun-related eye problems. The Red Brangus has become very popular in regions with high heat stress, as the red coat may better reflect certain wavelengths of sunlight, slightly optimizing thermal management in extremely hot climates. The Brangus stands out for its remarkable hardiness and ability to adapt to one of the widest ranges of climates in the world, from the cold of the northern U.S. to the humid heat and tropics of Latin America. This robustness is due to the Brahmin heritage, which confers natural resistance to external parasites such as ticks and flies, and superior tolerance to heat and humidity than other pure Bos Taurus breeds. The combination of hardiness allows the Brangus breed to be an excellent forager, ideal for extensive grazing in vast areas. Its ability to seek food on poor quality pastures and efficiently convert it into muscle is key to profitability in the tropics. This minimizes the need for costly supplements in the breeding and maintenance stages, as the animal can better utilize natural field resources. The resulting hybrid vigor from the cross between Angus and Brahmin gives it greater overall disease resistance than often affects pure lines. This translates into lower veterinary costs and a lower mortality rate. The Brangus is designed to be a production machine under difficult conditions, making it a low sanitary maintenance, high profitability option for the commercial rancher. One of the great advantages of the Brangus is that, despite having zebu blood Brahmin, the Angus genetic influence ensures early sexual maturity. Brangus heifers can reach sexual maturity and be ready for breeding between 14 and 17 months of age, and can calve their first calf before 2 years of age, which is crucial for female productive efficiency. Brangus cows are known for their outstanding productive longevity, maintaining high fertility, and calving regularly up to 12 or even 14 years of age. They possess exceptional maternal ability inherited from both lines with good protective instinct and adequate milk production to wean heavy calves. Their reproductive efficiency aims to maintain an inter-calving interval IEP, close to 12 months. The Brangus is a polled breed, which simplifies handling. It exhibits good calving ease thanks to the Angus gene. Calves have a manageable birth weight, typically 65 to 80 pounds, ensuring a low incidence of dystocia, even in first calf heifers. This combination of precocity, longevity, and calving ease makes the Brangus one of the most functional breeds for the cow herd. Thanks to the excellent milk production of Brangus mothers, calves achieve high weaning weights, typically between 550 and 640 pounds, depending on the grazing system. The Brangus exhibits a very fast post-weaning growth rate, allowing steers to reach commercial slaughter weight efficiently, optimizing inventory turnover in the feedlots. Brangus steers offer a very competitive dressing percentage generally ranging between 58% and 61%. This breed is efficient in the feed conversion ratio FCR, transforming forage and concentrated feed into high-value muscle. Their carcass is lean, but with sufficient marbling inherited from the Angus to ensure tenderness and flavor, positioning it favorably in markets that demand tropical quality. Despite the Brahmin heritage, which can sometimes be nervous, the modern Brangus is known for its generally docile and calm temperament. Selection programs have placed great emphasis on choosing only animals with good temperament, as calm cattle are fundamental for staff safety and to avoid weight loss due to stress. 
Handling them on foot or horseback is straightforward. Being a pole breed, hornless, is a significant logistical factor that improves handling in the field and during transport. This eliminates the stress and cost of dehorning, and also reduces injuries from fighting among animals in the pen, which in turn prevents carcass quality deterioration. The Brangus has proven to be efficient in both arid areas and regions with high humidity. Its short, loose coat, along with pigmented skin, allows it to regulate body temperature effectively. This handling versatility makes it a viable cattle solution that can be moved or thrive in very different regions without seriously compromising its productive efficiency. We close out the second video after dissecting the power of the Chaoulet, the efficiency of the Limousin, the adapted resilience of the Brangus. Now you know the keys to six of the ten most important breeds in the world. But the series doesn't end here. In our grand finale, you need to discover the four breeds that dominate production in the tropics and synthetic crosses. The Brahmin, Beefmaster, Shorthorn, and Santa Gertrudis. Give this video a like and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the epic finale of this series. See you in the corrals. For your success, fellow breeder, until next time.